Hey everyone, Tyson here again. Uh, in this video, I will go over my personal preference, I guess, or, or just some comparison details between the the five bo five prototype boxes that that I received um, or that that were created. Um, the first one, tuck box. I think I I am impressed as as far as it goes with. A, the tuck box in and of itself. Generally, I hate, loathe text boxes, uh, tuck boxes. Um, but this one, I feel it, the quality is nicer. There's a little slip tab that, or a uh, split there, uh, or intentional split that, that makes it easier and uh, doesn't seem nearly as flimsy. Um, perhaps because this, it, maybe in the production runs, they might be a, a little bit slimmer, but, uh, yeah, the, there is a bad thing about the, the line across the top, but I think that's acceptable. Um, having a tuck box really drives down the cost of manufacturing. I'll, I'll have to compare, um, what the actual difference is. Um, per unit uh, in a tuck box, but it, it, it these are um, the the cheapest option that uh, that's available. So so we can produce more of these in, in a single run for for less money and still re still realistically get the game out to to as many people as possible. Um, but yeah, I think um, this this one is a good alternative. I think this this one can drive. Um, or hopefully get us to to the target nine or ten dollar um, option that we we can have um, uh, on on Kickstarter, or Amazon, or, or whatnot. But yeah, I think uh, as a tuck, as far as a tuck box goes, um, I like it. Um, I'm really digging the the tuck box. All right, I'll go over to the Lux, Lux box. I did not like the Lux box. Um, it just wasn't the the feel that I that I really wanted. Um, I'm not sure if it, too, it doesn't look like two decks can actually even fit in there. Um, so so I'm uh, the cards are just gonna be kind of flopping around in there or flying around in there. Um, and when the user gets to to opening it, it, they're just gonna be all over the place. And yeah, I just didn't really like the feel. Um, perhaps there's a different size Lux, bo Lux, Lux box that I missed. Um, I'll definitely have to look into that, but for the most part, I did not. The, the lid comes off quite easily, um, except right there. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I just it just wasn't the right feel. There's not enough spa uh, spacing that we can do stuff on the sides. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I will be ordering another um, prototype box or, or even um, a manufacturing run. Uh, well, definitely not a manufacturing run if I don't order another prototype box. But yeah, I think that's where I stand on this one. Um, these next two, these are the little boxes. Um, they are roughly the same size um, as the tuck box. You can see the difference there. The tuck, I wonder if the tuck box can fit inside. Oh, can, but it doesn't close. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yep, so, so it does uh, pretty much fit inside, but like I said, it can't close. Um, yeah, you can see, you can see the size difference there for yourself. Um, Man, this is just super annoying right there. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, I think uh, just holding them in my hand, the tuck box immediately um, gives me the feel of a card game, um, but it does feel, you know, like the typical tuck box where you just rip it open and you're expecting tabs to rip and whatnot and you're probably the box will probably die after maybe five or ten uses if, if even that um so yeah I, it does have that feel the 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 regular game box is 
is great. It feels very nice. It's it's still uh, really light. I'll have to do a full measurement because it does have the magnetic snaps in it. So I'm assuming that uh, is definitely going to add some weight to to the overall um, uh, weight of the the total the finished product. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so that's those ones. Um, this one here, it, uh, so like I said, uh, or uh, pre in another video, I said that I really like the way that these like open like little books and whatnot, and the snap is really nice, and I do like that. This one also just, um, it does have its own like perks to it. It does feel kind of like a little monster. It's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. I suck at this puppetry here. Rrr. But yeah, I think it's it's really nice to just flip up and then and then you get that oh no, uh, uh, right in your face. So it's it's kind of nice that that's a little neat thing. Um, uh, once this is removed or or fully centered or whatever, we figure out with what to do here and make it look much prettier and presentable. I think uh, this will actually look really cool to have the little narrowness there and, and the little little opening uh, in and of itself. But yeah, it does it does have that perk um, to kind of flipping open uh, like a monster. Um, I think let's see, comparing the backs here. So. Uh, this is like it's kind of a little bit more crowded up at the top. Um, the Onom symbol is smaller, but that's not necessarily bad. The the text itself, I think, is pretty much identical. Um, I may have had to squeeze this one in a little bit because uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think uh, yeah, definitely the the this one you you have a sun uh, the white sunburst on. And this one uh, has uh, darker blue across it, so I'm pr I probably say looking at them uh, through the video. I'm not sure um, exactly which one I prefer through the video, but looking at them in, in uh, throughout the filter of the video, I'm still a little a little torn between the two. The the blue really helps out the art. Um, but the 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 white actually makes the text actually a little bit more readable, so there there's that to consider. Um, I still do not like either one not having a bottom there. They do have a little bit of a gap, so that there's the margins okay. But I think uh, I would prefer some sort of icon stuff uh, that you can kind of see in the. The, the large box there. But yeah, that's the comparison between these two. I'll open them up. Kind of give a little look here. View. So yeah, they're, I mean, they're pretty much identical, just the flip is in a different area. Um, this one does have a nice satisfying close. Um, I feel like this one doesn't have quite as satisfying of a close. It, it, it almost feels a little awkward when it closes, like, uh, or unstable. Um, that, that's uh, probably my only gripe with this. And it is kind of strange to have to kind of put my fingers in a, one specific location in order to get it to open correctly. Uh, can't. The, the flipping of it is just uh, takes a little, a little bit more effort than it, than it is satisfying. So um, yeah, I don't uh, don't know how I feel about that just yet. Uh, the larger box, um, like we went over in, in the previous videos, it's very satisfying. It looks like a book uh, or an old video game cartridge or a container um, for for cartridges or, or whatnot. Back in the day, um, does does open uh, you know, the landscape style of thing, even though the graphic itself is in portrait mode. Um, yeah, it is supposed to open this way. Uh, let's see. 
this it is it is quite easy to open i will have to try out and uh see how actually i'll just let me, let me see I, I do have some cards here let me just grab them real quick these are the the old cards the, the card with the old back so, yeah it does does open up um, with a little jolt there, so so those would have uh, spilled out, spilled out everywhere. Let's see. Let's put half and half and see how that works. Yeah, it takes a little bit more effort, but uh, definitely. Definitely still pops open. The, the, I do feel a very, very light magnetic grip on this one, um, but it, it does have have that uh, grip there. But yeah, it, it's uh, nice and uh, satisfying to open and close. Uh, let me take the cards out, and I will demo the cards in the other boxes as well. So this will be a good test to see if uh, these boxes pop open and which one pops open easier. Fail. All right. Yeah, so that one does take quite a bit of uh, uh, effort and multiple tries and I actually kind of stuck my finger in the, the groove there to kind of loosen the, the lid a little bit, but let's try that. There we go. So yeah, it does it does slightly um, come come apart uh, as as more and more pressure is uh, applied or, or repetitive uh, motions. So I'm not entirely sure if that's a fair trial there. I think uh, maybe once we get the the next prototype box in. Um, perhaps I can do some, I can put the cards in there and toss it around inside of the, the trunk uh, of a car or, or just on the side, of, on the seat of a car um, to see, to see how that works out. Maybe in a backpack or something that might be kind of cool. Um, why is this not fitting? What do I have in here? Okay, so something is not fitting correctly. Um, Okay, there, now it works. Um, let's try this one. Yep, so I'd say it's about the same as, as the, the other one. It might actually be uh, just slightly sturdier, but um, I don't know, we, we'd have to measure uh, pulses and stuff like that. Let's see, let's give it a jolt. Yep, so uh, even with a uh, good size uh, jolt, it does, does pop open. I didn't try that hard on the on the other one. So let's go ahead and put these here. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, seems seems to hold up for the for the most part. Uh, yeah, so I really have to keep it uh, vertical in order to. Uh, uh, that exact angle to to kind of get it to flip. Yeah, but uh, let's see how these guys fit in the tuck box. I won't be throwing the tuck box around because they're already fragile as it is. So. every tuck box you can kind of feel the edge uh, it's very delicate um, yeah, holds up just fine uh, there seems to be plenty of room uh, in the card I think this is a 72 count um, tuck box uh, and right now I think there's like 68 cards or something like that so theoretically four more cards could fit in in there uh, along with the um, I think it's like an eight fold uh, instruction sheet but alrighty, that's 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 pretty much my comparison for all of these guys. Let me let me set them right back up. 
before I turn off the video. Look right here. All right, thanks guys. <laughs>